and good afternoon and um, uh, apologies for my voice in advance. Uh, my name is Arda Halu. Uh, I'm an instructor at uh, Brigham and Women's Hospital and uh, Harvard Medical School and I will give a brief overview of our study on um, detecting and dissecting signaling crosstalk using multilayer networks using a method uh, that we call much talk. Um, so signaling pathways are a series of bimolecular interactions uh, through which uh, cells respond to their environment. And uh, these are often uh, inconveniently modeled as networks and analyzed using uh, network tools. Um, and when we consider the larger network of signaling interactions, uh, the paths of signaling cross uh, signaling uh, pathways often cross. <clears throat> And uh, this phenomenon is called um, signaling crosstalk. And um, it occurs um, when the stimulation of one pathway's uh, receptors uh, sort of uh, uh, results in downstream effects on another pathway. And this is something that's involved in um, healthy developmental processes um, as well as disease. So, um, so when we try to analyze these, we uh, come across um, uh, a number of challenges. Uh, first of all, um, these signaling networks uh, consist of multiple types of interactions uh, that are usually concurrent with each other. And second, um, these signaling edges are heavily uh, context dependent, uh, meaning that an edge between the same, same pair of nodes might mean different things in, in the context of different pathways. And um, third, signaling is very much entangled with transcriptional regulation, which results in various forms of um, feedback mechanisms, uh, as well as crosstalk. So to address these challenges together, um, we use multilayer networks, which, uh, which can represent multiple types of um, concurrent and context-dependent interactions, both on signaling and regulatory uh, levels. And in particular, we use the concept of multi-links uh, to characterize um, signaling pathways, uh, study their crosstalk, and also try to gain insights into the interplay between uh, signal and transduction and um, transcriptional regulation. So we have this analytical framework, uh, and it consists of the following steps. We first build a multi-layer network that consists of a signaling layer um, and a gene regulatory layer. And now central to this um, uh, framework is this idea of multi-links, which count as a unique type of edge, uh, every single, um, every possible combination of interaction types across all uh, layers of the multi-layer. And we're interested in the statistics of these. Um, in other words, we want to try to understand whether uh, they're over or underrepresented in the network. Um, so to do that, we generate a large ensemble of randomized networks, and then we basically compare the counts of each uh, multilink type uh, with, the, with the counts obtained from these randomized network to calculate the least scores and uh, empirical p-value. So to understand a little bit more this interplay between signaling and um, regulation, we look at the edge overlap between uh, the two layers. And when we do that for, this, for the entire network, uh, we find a significant overlap between the two layers. Whereas if we do it for each uh, separate pathway, we see that for most of the pathways, uh, this, um, I don't know why it's not showing up, but there's supposed to be um, <laughs> um, dots here. So, well, um, well, this is also a poster, so you guys are welcome to uh, look at it. But uh, we see that most of those um, individual signaling pathways don't have significant overlap with um, a, a, a median um, z-score that is uh, close to zero. So based on this observation, we um, hypothesize that the multilink statistics of the intermediary edges between pathways um, might you know, shed some uh, light on uh, crosstalk. Um, and we devise two complementary versions of this method, which uh, relies on direct edges between pathways and um, longer range interactions, which, uh, in other words, shortest path. Um, so to assess the prediction performance um, of, of, of this method, we uh, designed a benchmark uh, that uses uh, gold standard cross-talking pathways from uh, a literature curated database. 
and both versions of uh, our method uh, surpassed uh, four network-based um, uh, methods in both uh, the stochastic and the deterministic version of the benchmark. And finally, to discover potential um, novel cross-talking pathways, we applied our method on what we call the discovery set and used uh, tailored PubMed queries to assess the valid validity of our uh, predictions. For, and for both versions, this resulted in over 80% uh, precision for uh, the top predictions. So to summarize, um, much talk uh, surpasses current methods uh, in terms of predictive performance, expands the scope of gold standard cross-talking uh, data, uh, cross data sets and offers insights into potential molecular mechanisms leading to crosstalk. Um, and I'd like to uh, uh, thank my colleagues at uh, the Brigham uh, for their collaboration and the NIH for uh, funding this grant. And of course, um, yeah, happy to answer any questions during the um, poster presentation. Uh, thank you very much.